Have you ever come across eye-catching prices while browsing eBay listings for Elizabeth II coins? Some two pence coins are selling for unthinkable amounts. Often these are ads posted by scammers or uninformed collectors. But today we're talking about a genuine gem. This 1971 new pence sold for an astonishing $1,500 at heritage auctions. What makes this uncirculated two pence coin so valuable, even in its brown condition? Originally, these coins are a striking coppery red. The secret lies in the reverse side of the coin. This is an error coin with a reverse struck through a yellow washer. This type of error happens when a foreign object, in this case, a washer, accidentally falls onto the coin blank during the minting process. When the coin is struck, the washer leaves a distinct impression, creating a unique and identifiable error. Its rarity and the unusual circumstances of its creation make this coin a standout example of mint errors. If you ever come across such a coin, have it authenticated and appraised to understand its true value and potential in the collector's market. Today we have a stunning coin to showcase, the 1960 Elizabeth II British Exhibition Crown, also known as the Five Shillings. Graded as proof like 66 by PCGS, this coin is a true gem. Its vibrant luster and electric rainbow toning make it a standout piece in any collection. The 1960 Elizabeth II British Exhibition Crown was issued to commemorate the British Exhibition in New York. This proof-like PL coin features a detailed portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a beautifully rendered British coat of arms on the reverse. With its limited mintage tied to the event, it has become highly sought after by collectors. A PL66 grade signifies a coin with exceptional luster and minimal imperfections making this example an exceptionally well-preserved piece of history. This particular specimen was sold for $372 on June 9th, uh, 2024, showcasing its value and appeal in the collector's market. Introducing a remarkable numismatic treasure, the 1969 large date, large ship 10 cents from Canada, graded AU58 by PCGS. This coin has a fascinating history with several theories about its origin. One story suggests it was struck in Philadelphia as a sample for Canadian mint officials. Another theory proposes it was inadvertently produced from retooled 1968 dies, which were abandoned after the retooling process. Regardless of its origin, this coin stands out as one of Canada's great modern rarities. Um, according to Heritage Auctions, only 10 to 20 pieces of this variety are known to exist, making it extremely rare and highly coveted by collectors. This particular specimen was sold for an impressive $14,400, underscoring its value and significance in the world of numismatics. Unthinkable. This Elizabeth II coin sold for over $26,000 at heritage auctions. We're talking about the 2000P Elizabeth II multiply steel 25 cents from the Royal Canadian Mint. This coin is a modern rarity in the Canadian numismatic series, with supposedly just three to five known to exist. Struck in multiply steel, it features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a caribou on the reverse. Uh, graded MS65 by PCGS, this coin boasts strong luster and minimal imperfections, indicating its exceptional quality. What sets this variety apart is its composition, differing from the traditional nickel-plated steel. Its rarity and high grade make it a valuable piece for collectors, often fetching a premium in the numismatic market due to its outstanding quality and distinctiveness. This particular specimen's remarkable sale price highlights its significance and desirability among collectors. Introducing a numismatic gem, the 1953M Elizabeth II Thin, six pence from Australia, graded mint state 66 by PCGS. This silver coin is a testament to superb craftsmanship, showcasing intricate details and a lustrous appearance. Minted in Melbourne, as indicated by the M mint mark, this coin is a part of the early reign of Queen Elizabeth II and holds significant historical value. Its high grade suggests minimal wear and exceptional preservation, making it highly sought after by collectors. The coin's design, featuring the portrait of a young Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a kangaroo on the reverse, adds to its charm and collectability. It recently sold for $480, highlighting its desirability and value in the numismatic market. Presenting the prestigious and sought-after 1966 Elizabeth II gold-proof pound from the British Royal Mint. 
Struck in 22 karat gold, this coin exemplifies the highest standard of craftsmanship and artistry. The obverse features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, showcasing the renowned effigy by sculptor Arnold Machine. On the reverse, which often changes annually, you might find various symbolic motifs. These coins are typically issued as part of commemorative sets or to mark special occasions, enhancing their collectability. As gold-proof coins, they undergo meticulous striking multiple times to achieve a flawless, mirror-like finish, making them prized additions to any collection. This specific specimen was sold for $1,440 on May 26, 2024, at Heritage Auctions, highlighting its desirability and value among collectors. Introducing a captivating mint era coin, the 1975 Elizabeth II, 10 new pence struck on a wrong planchette. This coin was mistakenly impressed on a Hong Kong Elizabeth II $2 planchette, showcasing a manufacturing mistake during the striking process. Such errors occur when a coin is struck on a planchette intended for another coin, denomination, or currency. This unique nature and rarity make this error coin highly sought after by collectors of error coins and those interested in numismatic oddities. This particular specimen was sold for $960 at Heritage Auctions, highlighting its significant value and appeal among collectors. This error coin serves as a fascinating example of the intricacies of coin production and the occasional anomalies that can arise. Its value and desirability in the numismatic world are a testament to the allure of mint errors among collectors. Introducing another fascinating error coin, the Elizabeth II two pence struck on a penny planchet graded as AU55 by PCGS. This breathtaking error, showing some evidence of circulation, remains a captivating piece for collectors seeking the most striking of mint mistakes. This coin struck at the L'Entrezant mint is a remarkable example of a minting error. When a coin is struck on a planchet intended for a different denomination, such as a penny in this case, it results in a smaller sized and typically thicker coin than a regular two pence coin. These error coins are quite rare and highly sought after by collectors due to their unusual nature and the minting mistake that produced them. They serve as intriguing pieces of numismatic history, showcasing the variability and occasional errors in the minting process. This particular error coin was sold for $192 at a Stax Bowers auction, highlighting its value and appeal among collectors. In conclusion, these eight rare and valuable Elizabeth II coins sold at auctions exemplify the allure of numismatics. From mint errors to commemorative pieces, each coin tells a unique story of history and craftsmanship. If you enjoyed learning about these fascinating coins, please like this video, leave a comment sharing your thoughts, and subscribe to our channel for more numismatic content. Thank you for watching.